What are your hours? We're open from the farmers markets eight to one, and then the, the shop is seven thirty to two. Okay, sorry. I know it was two, but I didn't know. It was <laughs> no problem. So, Life Twenty Two here. And we're at the farmer's market, like always. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and come down to your local farmer's market. Help the economy out, all right? Let the farmers, let the farmers tell you where your corn comes from. So, and today we're here with Farm Fresh Flowers. Is that the name of the... Um, so I don't have a name yet. Okay. Fa all the people on Facebook suggest some names. I'm okay. that new. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Well, so we'll put on... For now, we're just, we're you know we'll figure something out for the I, title I of the video. I just have been putting my name, so okay. I'm Carafacina. Okay, Carafacina. Yeah, uh, my flowers. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you grow them yourself, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Out at yes. family um, property out in. Yeah, my family um, has had property. Let's see, it's my great great grandpa, maybe great great great. It's eighteen late eighteen hundreds, they settled that land. Okay. Used to be a dairy farm down there. Gotcha. Um, and so the old farmhouse is still there, and Tons yeah, of old cow poop to grow yeah, flowers. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, what kind of flowers are you? Um. So this year, um, I'm growing cosmos. Okay. Um, and I'm growing zinnias, which are the bulk of what I have at the stand. Those are the two things we started growing at our house. Okay. Like I was like, They're all right, super easy. So I'm a beginner farmer right and like so same here so flowers are like a different realm i have more experience in vegetables that's yeah i'm, I'm tomato yeah. guy and okay. like I, I i actually get tomatoes pretty well mm -hmm. and basil and then the only thing okay. i do in the flower realm was sunflowers okay so then yeah. that's and so this year we built a little gutter nice. you make them out of gutters you do a rack and then we did oh. like zinnias morning glories and cosmos and they just and the cosmos go in those gutter things okay? Yeah. No, not really. Okay. Not really. Well, I don't know what I'm looking for for flowers. I did marigolds too, but they didn't get big. Yeah. They didn't, they don't look like anything. So my, yeah, my flowers, the only, the good thing I'm, the one I'm good at is the sunflowers. Yeah. But. Yeah. So I'm, I, I grew sunflowers, um, and I also have snapdragons, um, which are those like kind of taller ones. Big and orange? Um, no, they're all different colors. Um, those are tiger lilies, I'm thinking, maybe. Yeah, so they're like, they're like a stalk of flowers. Okay. And they kind of all butt out along the top. Oh, so. that's cool. Yeah, I have, those are like, I have a few in each bouquet, but I think they're going to explode the next week. Um, and I have a few different flowers. So this is also my first year growing back home i used to live in ohio okay and so in southern ohio so climate change slightly slow totally different. totally different okay. it's like super cloudy <laughs> so a lot of stuff um has not bloomed yet um i have like a, a black eyed susan variety okay um that are like little mini black eyed susans like the vine or is it it's like, not a vine it's like no. the stalk it I know looks they have like it hasn't flowered out yet it looks like ragweed Okay. The vegetation of it. Um, but it's okay. so my boyfriend is walking through. We have vegetables in there too, and he's like, "Nice ragweed you're growing." Here. Right. <laughs> but, but it'll, yeah. That's what a lot of people complained out. about the North Union Street because it's like we want wildflowers, but wildflowers mm. don't all pop up at the same time. Yeah. And it all depends mm. on the overcast and how much water mm. they get. And, yeah. And then all of a sudden they're like, "All oh, these things, wildflowers are great when they're bloomed, but they look mm -hmm. like weeds and like yeah. tall grass when it's on." Yeah. And so it's like you get them at different stages, and the yeah. missus does a. Uh, she just throws in the the random mix every year, and we get random ones, um, you know. And it's, but yeah. it looks like garbage one week. The next week yeah. it looks beautiful. And yeah. then those flowers die, and the next ones come up, and it's like yeah. it keeps going. And then you'll get like two weeks where you're like, somebody bring a weed whacker in. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah. So it's. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm learning. I'm definitely like it's a learning curve yeah. for flowers. Um, but I'm already looking forward to next year, like all the different varieties that I'm going to do. So. And then planning for like which ones did did well and mm -hmm. maybe relocate some. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I tried growing um, Crispetia globosa. It's like it's called um, or like Sunball. It's those little like they're these really cool. They grow on these long stakes, and then they're these little like ball of like yellow. Really. At the top, and they look really cool, but. There was like I have like four of them. I'm like sorry, market people. I'm keeping these. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, yeah, yeah, we we had some pop up. Woo! We had some pop up the other day, uh -huh. and um, and then I noticed they're on North Union Street, 
and they they come up and they're like they look like something from like an alien planet. They got all these little spikes coming oh. out of the center, and then they're purple. Yeah, those purple. are different. I don't know what those are. I, yeah, and like I saw them, and I'm like, that thing looks creepy. Like it's gonna like shoot yeah. something at me. Like yeah. uh, like a pork. I know the, what's the the rumor is porcupines throw their quills, which they don't. Mm-hmm. But it it looks like it wants to throw quills at you. <laughs> and it, but it looks really yeah. pretty. So I'm like, I don't want to touch that thing. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> so. So you're new to the market. Yes. I'm new to the market. What do you think uh, the market provides? To the community, what does it do good for farmers and flower growers? Yeah, I mean, it's for the community, it's essential, right? Like, if we're gonna have a thriving community, we need a thriving agriculture, right? Scene. Yeah, um, so you know, it provides jobs to folks. Um, that's why I don't provides... normally hear, I normally don't hear that one. Which yeah, is, that's, a, that's a good I mean, I think you have to like be you have to um, grow as a farm to right. be able to employ people, but yeah, that's the ideal, right? Um, so yeah, or have more kids, jobs. which is what they used to do back in the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, right. You have a hundred kids, they'll all work the farm, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, um, now nah, hire people, um, yeah, or and um, just knowing who grows your food, I think, is super important. Um, or grow your flowers. So one little fun fact about flowers is you shouldn't actually smell the flowers from the um, grocery store or from a florist because you know you've heard people already know that like non-organic vegetables have a lot of like harmful chemicals in them. Sure sure because they have yeah the GMOs allow them to modify so they can absorb more pesticides without Dying, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, without dying, they can have a higher <laughs> tolerance level. Right. Yeah, for glyphosate, which they just found out officially that guy won um, in court just before um, because he has cancer and they have linked it to the glyphosate in Roundup. Really? Yeah. Um, so that element to vegetables is like times a zillion with flowers. Because, because we don't eat not, flowers. Right, we don't eat them. And so they are so packed with chemicals in a florist. They're usually grown, um, I'm trying to think, I think like Ecuador and I, I want to say like, I'm, I'm forgetting which, but they're like South America and Africa are like the continents that a lot of flowers are grown in. Right. And well, the high so they're sun. shipped. So like the fossil fuel of shipping them and the chemicals in them. Like, definitely, like, don't let your kids smell the flowers. <laughs> at the florist. At the florist, yeah. And so that's why Local I think... Local wildflowers, you see some on the side of the road and... Yeah, that's cool. Um, but yeah, so I think that's why people are getting into Growing local florists, just because they they can talk to I, them and vegetables say... Vegetables made sense to me, but now that, yeah. that, that's a good point on why flowers should be local grown. Okay, yeah, that's, 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 exactly. And it just also supports your local economy. Right, of course, yeah. And you get to meet the person folks. growing the flowers. You exactly. can say, hey, uh, I try to do this at my house. What tips do you have? Mm-hmm. What am I doing wrong? This is a problem. And mm-hmm. it's great to be able to come down here. It's a knowledge base. Yeah. So. And it's fun because you don't normally find zinnias in a, a grocery store. You know, like I can grow some different heirloom flowers that people are familiar with. And like, you know, right. maybe their grandma grew it or their mom. And right, right. Or their uncle, whatever. And they... Um, you know, have an emotional connection. You can't always find that. Right. Yeah. Of course. Story, no. Yeah, we've because so. uh, a friend of mine does heirloom tomatoes every year from the, like his great grandfather's farm in Italy. Mm-hmm. Great, 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 yeah. great, 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 great. There, there's a yeah. bunch of greats in front of that. <laughs> there's an exponent of greats. But yeah. But yeah, that's uh, and I think it's like a 130 year old seed. Nice. Like yes. a lineage of seeds. So yeah, which is super important. We're yeah. definitely. You know, our seed stock is right. at risk. Right yeah, I, I hear about that. Yeah. The, what is it, the Mon, Matumbo, Mon, Mon, Monsuma, Monsora? The, the big company that produced Roundup and the GMOs. Monsanto, yeah. Monsanto, there it is. Um, my, my Neil Young. Yeah, and it's actually, I mean, so they own, you know, we hear about, like, GMO corn and GMO soybeans. Um, but they actually own a ton of other seed companies. And so even just, like, when in your garden growing um, heirloom open pollinated seeds instead of hybrids um, allows that seed stock to be reproduced and you can save your seeds. Um, I do it with sunflowers every year. Yeah. Yeah, I've got, God, I've got, I've got jars of sunflower seeds, mm-hmm. like, and I eat them raw, so like, nice. yeah, so I can, <laughs> like, I don't want to eat this one. This one looks like a good one for plant. Yeah. And just, so, awesome. Yeah. And I can yeah. only have so many in my house, so. Yeah. What do we got this year, Miley? Like. 20? Yeah, about. 20, yeah. Nice. 
And we, we started, we were experimenting with the cross pollination from one. One has multiple heads coming out at oh, each, at like each crotch towards the top. Some of them had them all the way down. Yeah. But it was only one last year that had it. And now all of a sudden this year, because I saved the seeds and went forward, some of them are actually growing short, but like bushes. And they're oh, just like cool. hundreds. And some of the ones yeah. that have a head coming off at like one of the crotches of the leaves had additional ones coming off of that. So oh, I don't know how well cool. that's going to work when it comes to bloom, yeah. but it's yeah. kind of cool to see, watch like that happen. So. Yeah. yeah, super cool. Yeah. Yeah. And do you have any other questions? Or? No, um, you, gotta <laughs> you got a nice refreshing shower here. <laughs> um, did any more fun facts about... Uh, Flowers? Yeah, Fun facts about flowers. Fun facts. Yeah, yeah. Does, uh, does it use a special kind of fertilizer? Um, so I don't use any fertilizer. Okay. I so I start them. I have a little start house. Okay. Um, and I start them in soil blocks. Have you seen soil blocks before? It's like this big stamp that you like. So you have like a thing of soil, and then and you kind of like stamp it out instead of using those like plastic trays it's just it's it's kind of like a preform one it's nice and dried and packed kind of thing or um so you get your soil really wet like i just like shovel soil into a big like flat okay. tray and then i take the soil block and it's like you s kind of stamp it in the wet soil and then when you stamp it back into your trays it's just like a little freeform block oh okay. and it has a little divot ready for you to put a seed in so it's oh. just like literally a block of soil oh okay That's um cool. it is cool because then you just plant those you can just like pick them up and you don't have yeah. to like mess with those like trays you gotta that... break them out of the, the container yeah and, yeah and, and then, then there's yeah, like... the roots sometimes go through the little drainage holes exactly the bottom and... yeah okay. so it's it's a little healthier for the plant so i use those soil blocks um and yeah, each flower is so different. So like you don't do any container stuff. It's all in the ground, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am growing a few things in containers. Um, I'm trying to grow some eucalyptus, um, and it's just like not the right climate. I don't think for the right amount of sun. Raising koalas. Yeah. Right. I know. So I keep that in my start house um, in containers, and. Um, I do mint in containers just because okay. it's pretty invasive. You don't invasive. want it to go crazy. Yeah, I don't. I don't need mint all of my yard, and then this way I can kind of keep track of which mint is which. Mm -hmm. This is, this is, uh, this is the peppermint. This is the spearmint. Mm -hmm. This is the chocolate mint, and then yeah. I know there's other mints out there, but that's my collection so far. Mm -hmm. Usually, if somebody has some at their house, I pull it, put the sprig in the dirt in a five-gallon pot. Yeah, it grows year after year, so I just bring them in in the winter. And, yeah. Uh, um. Yeah, so I, yeah, I take, so I use those soil blocks and, um, like for, and each one is so different, like, so for snapdragons, okay. I have to take, they look like sand, the seeds do, they're that small. Okay. But, so you would think you could just, like, sprinkle it over, but right, then right, you would, yeah. they would all, like, it would be insanity. So I have to take, like, a toothpick and, like, stick it in the little like seed a packet. Like a wet toothpick? A wet toothpick and get, like, two or three little things in could each one. Could you do, one. like, a Q-tip? Maybe like if it, it has seems like a little a, messy. Like, well, you just get it wet and then you just clip the head off because that the cotton would dissolve, right, or break down in the soil. Yeah, I feel like too many would stick to it though. Like I need the oh. tiny little point gotcha. of the toothpick, and then you can't water it with a hose because like they'll go all over the place. It'll wash up, it'll wash down. It'll, yeah. yeah, so I have to like mist them. Right. <laughs> so yes, each like each snapdragon is like. Okay. I grew it from a little little baby piece of sand. Gotcha. Now that just flowers need a lot of sun, right? Is that all? It depends. Okay, so it's not like it's like vegetables. Some need yeah, shade, like, mm -hmm. some need sun. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think the majority needs some sun, and so that's something. Um, with a sh with a cloudy uh, cloudy climate, we've had cloudy this climate. This yeah. Um, where I'm like kind of in a hollow, and so. I need to like clear some trees maybe this there you go this winter to don't get a little bit more it. sun what don't let your dad do yeah it. no but he almost lost his thumb last year right yep mm -hmm. <laughs> it was his middle finger actually oh yeah <laughs> i was there <laughs> drinking yeah. a chainsaw you know what and he like was surprisingly he wasn't even drinking he was like <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. That's that's where most of my accents come from when I'm not drinking and running yeah. heavy equipment. Like he was like <laughs> had a cast on it and was like catching trout later that day. He yeah, he yeah. Like, yeah, he's yeah. he's an outdoorsman, yeah. so he's, he's got it. He's yeah. under control. Yeah. So, but so it was. Uh, we're gonna do a reminder to everybody. Okay. Um, here. I'll be right there. Be right come to your local there. farmers market. We're here eight to Thank one you. every Saturday until the last Saturday in October. Um, support your local economy. So. Buy some farm fresh flowers. If you come up with a good name for her, message it Please in the comments below. Yes. Yeah. Message it in the comment below. 
we'll uh, <laughs> we'll forward them on to her, and uh, and then uh, maybe next time we'll get a fill in. Uh, the next couple videos from now, we'll be like, hey, by the way, we've got a. Uh, Oh man, eucalyptus it's a big flowers. Yeah, oh yeah, not eucalyptus. It's a big decision. Right, no, and I don't blame you. Mm -hmm. Take some time, take some feedback from as many people as you can and try mm -hmm. to weigh out your options. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so come down here, see us, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll catch you guys next week. Good?